this is Stampy, and welcome to episode number 22 of my Skylanders Trap Team Let's Play. We are in Telescope Tower. I am currently playing as Wrecking Ball with a synchronised swimming cap, but don't get too settled with being Wrecking Ball. As much as I love him, I am going to switch out to be a new character, and I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to play as... Let's try out this little lady, shall we? May I please introduce you to, ladies and gentlemen, Mini Ginny! <laughs> Another one of the, the Mini Skylanders. Uh, six Magic Skylanders collected. Yay! Oh, oh! I guess the um, the certain amount of Skylanders you have as each element makes them stronger. I never really noticed that before. So what can this woman do? She can... Oh, she's got some sword. She can swing around. And oh, she seems to be pretty good at them. Oh, look, she's a little combo there. Look at her go. <laughs> and then what else can she do? She can... What's that? She's, um... She's turned into a bottle of perfume, I think. And then she burst out of it. Whoop! Oh, look! I can bounce around! <laughs> I can bounce around at that little thing. That's a, um... That's a new move. Not seen that before. Library lockout. What's this going on here? Right, let's go and uh, smash up some of these books. Uh, because for some reason, there is money in the books. Um, please, everyone at home, do not go to your library and start punching the books looking for money. It's unlikely that there's going to be money inside of books in real life. But this is not real life. This is a dream. And this is a dream in Skylanders. So if we want to have monies in books, we can have money in books. And all oh, what's going on here? All of the bookcases have just drifted away. Did the books run away from me because I was smashing them all up then? Is that what happened? <laughs> it's like raining books now. Look, they're all kind of floating around the place. This is weird. Uh, anyway, let's go and uh, try and jump my way up here then, shall we? And to see what's going on here. This is so strange and surreal, isn't it? Well, let's go and try and make my way up here. And oh, I found a thing. I found a thing. What is this thing? Legendary treasure. The legendary treasure of the Cyclops bear. This, <laughs> it actually is that. I was joking. Legendary Cyclops bear. Brilliant. There we go. I got 500 gold for that as well. Not too bad. Mini Ginny uh, has already got quite a lot of money and she's hardly done anything already. <laughs> anyway, let's go and try and find out how I get back up to the top. Do I need to drop down here first, maybe? Uh, let's go and uh, rescue this guy, shall we? And, uh, oh, I know where I am. This is the, um, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. There was another door above me. But is this a secret area? I'm getting so confused as to where I'm supposed to go and where the secret areas are. But it looks like uh, there's another portal through here. I found Fenshu Cove. Is this supposed to be? Oh, what's going on with this bed? No, this bed is floating around and I can stand on it. Hmm. Okay, what's going on? Look, if I knock the furniture, it just starts floating around the room and going into different positions. Do you think this is supposed to be some sort of puzzle? Uh, let's speak to this person here and see what I'm supposed to do. Were you aware that if a set of furniture can be arranged in precisely the right configuration, it will create a sense of harmony and well-being with the surrounding environment? Well, now you know. So why don't you see if you can arrange my furniture? Go ahead. Give it a shot. Okay, so I do need to arrange the furniture in a very specific way. But how do I know which way is good and which way is bad? Um, okay, these ones seem to be glowing and not proper so can i move these ones again can i move the oh i can move this oven as well do i have to just move everything possibly i don't know how i'm supposed to know which order they're supposed to be in there's like this mat here which keeps looking a bit weird i don't know if it's supposed to though okay this thing's in the way so let's go and move that out of the way here maybe everything's just trying to go to a specific place and so this is going to come down here oh no the oven's moving back now um oh they, these look like they kind of should be next to each other do you reckon I need to go and move the other chair and move it a little bit closer, possibly? And then the beds here. Maybe I need to. Oh no, this is this is <laughs> on the move again here as well. Um, I don't know how. I, I just knock it and it kind of just moves where it wants to go. I don't know uh, how I pick uh, where it's supposed to move. Um, turning into a little bottle of perfume is probably not helping either, is it? <laughs> right, let's break my way out of this. Uh, it all seems to want to kind of move by itself. Well, this looks like a bedside table. I feel like this should be next to the, the bed, but the um, I don't know how to get things in the right place. Let me just keep hitting everything. Maybe if I just hit it all quick enough, everything's going to go to the right position. Oh, I think that might actually work. I think that might have actually been the solution to the problem. Just keep hitting things really, really fast. It seems to have made a new platform here anyway. And oh look, I was able to find a chest because of it. And you know what I do when I find a chest? I smash, 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 sm
I mash potato would open <laughs> and grab everything that is inside. Look at that. 833 monies already. And whoopsie daisy. Nearly jumped right off the edge there. You did it! By attacking my furniture, you achieved perfect balance and harmony. Ironic, I suppose. But in any case, behold the reward of perfect spatial relationships. <laughs> I feel like I should point out as well, as well as not attacking books. Don't listen to what he said, do not attack your furniture either. If I come around any of your houses and I can see you going crazy at the sofa and trying to attack it, I will not be best pleased. <laughs> anyway, I think I need to go back this way. This is where I- whoa! This is where I got punched by one of these big things. Yeah, this is where I fought the uh, the pain yata. And uh, oh, ow, speaking of pain. <laughs> and if you don't know who the pain yata is, this is the pain yata. This guy here, <laughs> uh, who I am looking forward to playing as for a little bit uh, while trying to, to battle some people. I might try and use uh, the pain yata a bit uh, while going after the uh, the dream catcher herself. Yeah, I should probably explain uh, what's going on here in case uh, you've missed the, the past few episodes or you need a bit of a recap. Uh, we're in Telescope Tower. Uh, we are trying to go after the dream catcher and also trying to, to find some uh, things out about Traptanium. Uh, a lot of scientists here are trying to research it and the dream catcher is trying to look in their dreams uh, to try and find out about the true power of Traptanium. Right, so yeah, that's the reason we're here. That's why I'm going around as Mini Jenny and uh, I'm also trying to wake up all of the scientists uh, because the dream catcher is using their dreams uh, to power all of this area. So I want to try and uh, wake them up as much as I can. And over here is my good friend Hedwick and uh, he's basically been helping me out uh, through this entire escapade. Boy, I bet you're wondering what happened to me, huh? I was with you earlier and then poof, <laughs> disappeared. I'd have to tell you the whole story one day, but for now, let's focus on that dream catcher. She's just beyond this door. Ready to take her on? All right, let's light this candle. Uh, relatively speaking, of course. Okay, looks like this is it. Looks You're like this is me late, against the Dreamcatcher, 1v1. I've already learned the secrets of Tractanium from these scientists' dreams. But this whole hero thing you're doing is getting really tiresome, so I think it's time I finally put an end to it. Alright, looks like we're going into battle. Dreamcatcher. <sighs> Bring it on. Okay, there seems to be a bed here. Ah, so if I wake them up, then that way she won't have her force field power. So if I knock these beds down, then I should be able to, to go after here. Here we go. I can actually do some, some damage against her now. Uh, not much damage, but I'm getting there. Let's try and use this um this perfume bottom uh per perfume bottom perfume bottle attack, shall we? Did that hurt her at all? I don't think it did. I think I might just have to, to use the swords for now. I don't know. I think she's gonna destroy the floor. Oh no, she's destroying the floor wherever I run. I need to try and find a way to get to this next bed. Oh, I've got to move really fast here. They keep destroying right where I am. Can I get rid of it? There we go. I was able to, to get rid of the bed. And now I can try and get in close and uh, try and do a little bit more damage. Oh no, I need to move though. I need to move. Oh no, I got dropped. I got stuck on her. I got stuck on her and I wasn't able to move. Right. Let's go and try and wake this person up. And I am then going to switch over to pain the <laughs> and uh, try and do some damage as him. I need to keep moving though. I can't stay still because otherwise I am going to fall down. I think if I tried using his other move, uh, she would uh, she would get me. But there we go. I can stand still for a bit. And look at the sheep. There's a sheep going around the place because sheep uh, make you fall asleep when you try to count them. And oh no, she's dropping loads of them now. But let's go and uh, switch back to, to Mini Ginny for now. And I uh, go and try and wake up a few more of these. And uh, there we go. I can now switch back to, to Peñata. And here we go. He does lots of damage. He seems to be pretty strong uh, with every big hit of his lollipops. He seems to hurt her quite a lot. It's just so hard because I just can't stay still for one second. Otherwise, I'm going to fall off. And she's firing sheep tornadoes at me and all sorts. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, quick, we need to go and try and wake up these beds. Oh no, these little hook things, these are coming after me now. These are what she kept using to attack the, the scientists, but she seems to be using them against me now. Right, nothing for it. I gotta turn into my little perfume bottle again then. <laughs> See if we can wake some of these up. There we go. They were to wake up those scientists, but I gotta move very fast now. I just knocked that sheep flying. <laughs> Maybe I should use the, the sheep creep against so her. That might be quite funny. Right, let's go try and get all these. There we go. I was able to, to wake them all up, but now I need to try and, oh no, need to try and not fall off for starters. I need to try and get close and to try and do some damage. Oh no, she's got another force field chilled up. And there we go, I got rid of the, the force field. Did a nice bit of damage there. Go and try and hit her again. She's so weak now. She's so weak, just a few more hits and I should be able to, to go and take her out. 
Try and get in close. A few more hits. Still haven't got it yet. Still haven't got it yet. Look how much tiny health she has. Oh no, I fell off. I fell off though. I did fall off. Okay, I think I'm, I'm a little perfume bottle right now. I couldn't even see me there. Come on, just one more hit. Oh no, she's got a force field up again. That's why I can't get her. Right, I need to go and try and wake up this person uh, before I do anything else. I want to be careful which route I run uh, because it's whichever way I go. She uh, drops the blocks underneath, but it doesn't matter. I was able to, to take her defeated. out. I have defeated the dream catcher. So if I now go and put in a uh, traptanium trap of the air element, I will be able to Whoa. trap her for good. <gasps> uh, <aw>. <gasps> <gasps> Dreamcatcher defeated. This won't be so bad. Maybe good is the new evil. Yay! I got another Doom Raider! I'm getting them thick and fast now. I captured the dream catcher. I love the irony of catching the dream catcher. <laughs> and I got, whoa, 2,000 monies for it as well. I also, of course, got the uh, new Sky Stone, as you always get for capturing one of them. And let's see how well I did. I don't think I found all the areas. No, that was a really big place, actually. I only found uh, 18 out of 24 areas. There was two elemental gates that I didn't find. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I didn't get those hats, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I got uh, half the treasure. I didn't get the... I just did rubbish, basically. The summary of how well I did was I did rubbish. <laughs> that's basically all you need to know. But I did what I went there for. I was able to capture the Dreamcatcher and save the scientists and the secrets of Traptanian. So I'm happy about that. Nice job apprehending that evil Dreamcatcher, Skylander. Yes! Finally! Our good buddy Chaos here has also informed us that the Doom Raiders plan to take over the Mystic Mill so they can build an army of creepy wooden soldiers. I've sent the Mabu Defense Force on ahead to investigate. <laughs> Mabu Defense Force? You have seriously got to be kidding me! Those idiots couldn't find hay in a haystack! Well, that sounds like a job for the best pilot in all of Skylands. Come back, Boom! Flynn, your leg's all healed. Healed and ready for adventure, Callie. Just say the word, Skylander, and we are off to this mystic mill. Yay! Flynn's back. Awesome. Jolly good. And it looks like we have a bit of spare time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and upgrade uh, a few of my Skylanders. So uh, what am I doing there walking into a wall? Uh, yeah, I got a mini Ginny here uh, who I was playing as in this episode. And uh, she got loads of money. So I should be able to get a whole load of upgrades for her straight off. Uh, if I can press this, you can summon some magical orbs. I don't mind if I do. And I get ready to get very quickly bored of hearing the fairy over and over again saying, ready for another magical upgrade. <laughs> she says it every time you speak to her. Uh, can do some some extra damage here as well. Uh, what was that move called? Abrasakitavada or something? <laughs> that was a really weird name. There we go. I got some some more moves there. And this just means that uh, next time I'm in, uh, I'm in a mission and I switch to her, I'm already going to have them all ready. And oh, there's a good one here. Uh, while inside of a bottle, press square to launch rockets. <laughs> because why not? I don't think it is actually perfume. I think it's just supposed to be a magical bottle, to be honest. But it's just kind of funnier to think it's perfume. And I believe that I do have uh, enough money uh, to go and uh, get one more upgrade. Oh, no, I just about don't. I just about don't have enough money. Uh, but I could I could get some by just doing things around here. But before I do that, I want to switch over to a Wrecking Ball and finally be able to buy my burp. Wrecking Ball has been wanting to burp forever now and he's finally got enough money and he's around the fairy uh, that I can go and try and buy that upgrade for him. I <laughs> oh, did this better be worth it. So here we go. The power belch to re <laughs> press triangle to release a burp attack. There we go. Yay! What a release. <laughs> oh, and uh, he's got some, some more money as well, so I could actually uh, go and buy some other things if I wanted to. Uh, tongue evolution. There we go. My tongue grows longer and does more damage. 
Brilliant! <laughs> really only in Skylanders would that be a benefit, and uh, I think that might be about it for, for Wrecking Ball, but I might stay as him uh, just for the, the rest of the video as we go around the Academy, because I believe uh, there are a few more uh, secret things behind here. There's quite a lot of places uh, that I still haven't explored yet, and uh, seeing as we have a, a little bit of spare time, uh, let's go and wander around. <laughs> it's funny just seeing Chaos just marching his way around here. You yeah, know, there's a whole big uh, area. Uh, up here, which I haven't really explored very well, as well as downstairs as well. So let's go and uh, have a look up here. Ooh, do you think this is a, uh, a hat shop here, maybe? Can I go through this door? Oh, I can. Maybe this is a place where I can buy hats. Is there a hatter here? I believe there is. Who's this person? Uh, quest discovered. Uh, Hatatrostrophy. Germany, a Skylander. I'm so glad you made it to the big unveiling of my new hat shop. Okay. Unfortunately, business hasn't been so good lately. The trolls are making cheap non-magical knockoffs of magical hats and selling them on the black market. But I know someone who can put a stop to this dirty operation. Hoodsickle. If you see him around, tell him to stop by. Ah, I do have Hoodsickle actually. Was he with the, the undead element, I think? And let me go and put my undead trap in and see if it brings up Hoodsickle. I Hoodsickle. think it is. Yeah, here we go. Here is Hoodsickle. Uh, I captured him very recently, so uh, let's go and try and do this side mission and help out this hatty mole. <laughs> Jump in Yemeni plus ten. Hoodsickle. I have a very special job for you. Are you ready to bust up a troll hat counterfeiting operation? I'm here to help you, Haddison. I'm here to help. Right, let's go and do a, a special mission as Hootsicle. Now, this guy is crazy powerful. He looks a little bit scary and evil. He's not one of the cuddly Skylanders, but he's very strong. If you can destroy each of their counterfeit hat machines, we can finally put an end to this dirty business. Good luck. Three. I love the way they're they're making hats in furnaces. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that is how you uh, you make hats. And oh, it looks like we we have a time limit. Uh, Say I've got ten minutes though, so that should be uh, hopefully more uh, than enough time. Uh, in order to, to get all of these hats. And I reckon that once I've done this side mission, I'm going to be able to, to buy hats from him as well, which is good. Uh, seeing as I have been uh, missing out on uh, quite a lot of the uh, the hats uh, from some of the, the missions, I haven't found them all yet. And see what this guy does? As he bursts around like this, and then you see he makes all of those little ghosts, and then when he swipes his, his sickle, it's weird like... I don't know, magic sickle thing. Yeah, whenever he swings it, it uh, goes and takes everyone out. And look, you can see the hats coming out. You can see the hats getting spewed out all over the place. <laughs> These fake counterfeit hats. All right, let's go and uh, destroy this thing if we can. And uh, then that way it won't be making any more hats. Oh, can't we just use the, uh, use all of these hats? I don't care about their magical abilities. I just want to look cool. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's uh, two out of eight. There's eight of these things. All right, looks like I better get a move on it. Oh, what's this down here? Is this a little secret hidden thing, I think? What was that? I think it just gave me a, a whole load of money there. This is good uh, because while doing this mission, uh, I should be getting a, a whole load of money. And so once the mission's complete, uh, I can hopefully be able to afford to buy some of these, these new hats. So it uh, looks like we need to go and try and take out all of these people here. Uh, as well as the uh, the counterfeit hat making machine. Uh, so I guess if I just burst around it a little bit and then I can go and do my big move. Oh, there we go. That got it destroyed anyway. And is that gate going to open? No, I guess I can't get through that gate until I've maybe taken out uh, all of the uh, the people. So I guess I can't uh, run past any of the trolls. I guess I need to take them all out uh, in order to, to carry on. So let's go and try and take all of these out. He is so strong, isn't he? He is so awesome. <laughs> let's go and try and take all of these out as well. Oh, they're firing bombs at me. I want to be very careful. These uh, these ones with the, the magnets and the bombs are, are pretty tough. Oh, anyway, there we go. I think I was able to, to take them all out. And uh, so now I can go and uh, take out this other hat making machine, this furnace which has been <laughs> making all of the hats. You'd think it would just set fire to the hats, not actually be able to make them. But there we go. That's uh, half of them down now. There's only uh, four more of these for me to get. So I can go and trudge my way down this way. Oh, try and not fall off the, the edge of the map. Uh, I actually thought it was being uh, very generous giving me 10 minutes, but it's actually a little bit of a, a bigger mission than uh, I thought it was going to be. These are normally quite short, but uh, there are quite a lot of these things I need to, to take out. And oh, I can't go through that gate either and, uh, until I've taken out all of these guys. So let's go down here and uh, go and try and take all of them out. Like, I can deal with them really easily. It uh, just takes uh, a little while to destroy these. But uh, once I've got this one, uh, there's only going to now be uh, four left. 
uh, for, for me to get. No, two left, sorry. Two left, isn't there? Because there's only eight of them. And uh, was there one over this way? Oh, here we go. There's one right here. Then I guess there's going to be another one uh, just on the, the other side of that big gate. So let's go and uh, try and destroy all of these. And uh, this should be norm nearly destroyed as well. That should get it. Nope, nearly. There we go. There we go. That's that destroyed. Uh, so let's go and uh, carry on heading this way. And hopefully, yes, this big gate has now opened up. And oh no, looks like there's a, a few bigger trolls here. This might be a little bit tougher. Luckily, I am super, super powerful. And just go and burst through them all and do my big attack. Oh, this guy seems strong though. He actually managed to hurt me a little bit. <laughs> I don't think many uh, others of them actually was able to do that. Is that him destroyed now? No, he's not. He's still here. I think this is kind of like a, a little mini boss here. What's he holding? I don't even know what he's hitting me with. It looks like a, like a reel of string or something. But there we go. I didn't even need to take him out because I destroyed all of the machines. You shut down the troll's counterfeit ring. Now, let's get back to the academy and I can present you with a reward. Yay, I get a reward. See, I knew it was worth going up here and exploring a, a little bit more of the, the academy. Uh, let's see what award I'm going to go and get for Hootsicle. Here's a little something for you, Hood Sickle. Just my way of saying thanks. And please, check out my star. Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It is, ooh, I think it's gonna be a big upgrade for me. Uh, quest complete. Uh, Hatotostrophe, however you say that. There we go, I think I've just made myself even stronger uh, than I was before. And I think there might be some some money hiding behind here. Actually, I've just realised I have not even tried out my burp yet. I got so excited about getting my belch attack. I've not even tried it out. There it is. <laughs> I like the fact that he does a little laugh afterwards as well. Listen to the little laugh he does afterwards. <laughs> oh, this sounds a bit like Woody Woodpecker. And oh, is there something hidden in here? Ah, look at this. Look, I can jump my way up here. And there's a hidden bit in the top up here. Now where do I go? There's got to be something up here. No? Is there, is there nothing special I can do up here? I think you can just see all the uh, the materials here that he uses to, to make his hat. I can't see uh, if there's anything else up here though. Well look, you can go down here though. Can I drop down there? Or am I just going to fall off? Oh no, you can't drop down there. Anyway, let's go and uh, look at his wares and see uh, what hats we can buy. To my hat store. Now completely free from troll forgery. Would you like to check out some authentic magical hats? I sure would. Let's see what hats you have for sale. Let me show you my selection. Alright, let's go and buy ourselves some hats then, shall we? Uh, so, oh, they're all really cheap, actually. I've got quite a lot of money and they're all pretty cheap. And uh, let, let, let's just go and get a bunch of them, shall we? Uh, let's go get the, the biter hat. That one looks quite cool. Yep, I want this one. Uh, let's go get the plunger one because who wouldn't want a plunger on their head? <laughs> uh, let's, I like this one. This one looks quite cool. Let's go get the propeller one. They don't actually seem as powerful as the ones you get in the game. The increases don't seem quite so critical. Oh, let's get some bunny ear ones. Oh no, these are expensive ones actually. So look, these ones all cost 500. Okay, I can't afford any of them ones. Uh, let's go back down to the cheaper ones then, shall we? Let's just buy all of them. Let's just go and buy as many as we can. What else am I going to do with the money? You know, apart from buying upgrades. Let's just go and buy buy as many of these as I can and then every time I uh, pick a new Skylander uh, I can decide which one I want to play as and I think I can only afford one more uh, so let's just go and get this uh, royal crown shall we and there we go I have bought myself a lot of hats so let's go and uh, try a new one on I do like that one that he's wearing uh, well, let's go and try out one of my my new ones then shall we and look how many you could get there are absolutely loads of them uh, that's one I've already worn before here we go here are a bunch of the new ones. Let's put on... Should we try the propeller? Not the propeller, sorry, the plunger. No, I think this one. Oh, no, it's too small. It's too small. No, that one's a bit weird. Uh, let's go for the crown. Let's go and put a crown on him. There we go. Now he looks even cooler. Exactly. <laughs> and plus 10 critical attack, because why not? Jolly good. So I have now uh, been able to, to save Hatterson uh, from the evil forge, uh, forged hats uh, that the trolls were making. And I can come back here and buy more hats whenever I want. Uh, sadly though, we have run out of time in this episode here and even dragged on a little bit longer than I normally like to. But that doesn't matter. We had good fun in doing so and we will hopefully have good fun in my next episode, which I'll be uploading very soon. You can see a link to that in the description uh, once it's online, uh, once I've uploaded it. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!